Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Uh, today we're going to look at how to find the equation of a line when we're given its slope and another point um, that the line passes through. So let's look at this question we have here. Find the equation of a line perpendicular, so that's a key word there, to the line y equals negative 2 over 5x plus 4, and then passing through the point 1 and negative 3. So this perpendicular to this line, this is where we're going to get the slope for the line. So if we look at the equation of the line given, this slope is the m value right here. So the slope of the line is negative 2 over 5. But we want a line perpendicular to this line. So perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals. So the slope we're going to use for the perpendicular line, we note it like that, is going to be the reciprocal of this. So we flip the fraction 5 over 2 instead. And if it's negative here, it's going to be positive here. So we change the sign. So our new slope will be 5 over 2. That takes care of the slope. Now, we also want it to pass through this point. So let's start with the equation of the line in slope y-intercept form. That's y equals mx plus b. But we know the m. We just said it was positive 5 over 2. So we're going to plug it in for the m in our equation and we'll get y equals 5 over 2 x plus b. The b, the y-intercept, is what we don't know right now and we need to find. But we do know that we have this point on the line. This is the x-coordinate of the point and this is the y-coordinate of the point. So we're going to sub in the x value of 1 and the y value of negative 3 into the equation we're working with. So we'll have negative 3 equals 5 over 2 times 1 plus b. Now, this is a simple equation with one unknown. We can solve for that b value. So let's do that. We're going to multiply this together first. Negative 3 equals 5 over 2 plus b. And now I want to take this 5 over 2 and get it to the other side so that the b will be by itself. Here it's positive, so we'll subtract it on the other side. So b is going to be equal to negative 3 minus 5 over 2. That gives us a b value of negative 11 over 2. So now we take the slope that we calculated here, that perpendicular slope, and the y-intercept that we just found here, and we plug them both into y equals mx plus b, and that gives us the final equation for this line. So y equals 5 over 2x minus 11 over 2. If you prefer decimals, I prefer the fractions, as we know, but if you prefer to do this with decimals, we can, and then it would just be y equals 2.5x minus 5.5, and these are the same equation. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.